Hey, everybody. We are talking about a fascinating topic around the surge of data at the edge these days with a true innovator, Zdata. How are you, uh, Maxi? I'm doing well, Evan. How are you doing today? I'm really well. Fascinating topic. Uh, I talk a lot about edge computing, but you guys are taking a really uh, fascinating and, and novel approach. Um, before that, maybe just introduce yourself and how would you describe your team and the mission these days? Sure. Yeah. So appreciate the time and great to meet you. So uh, my full name is Michael Maxey. I go by my last name. There's uh, you know 4.5 million mics in America, if you believe Wikipedia. <laughs> so I've gone by my last name for quite a while. Um, Zadita is an edge orchestration and management company. So we've really been focused since day one, which is seven years ago, around building a solution for you know moving workloads to the edge. You know, again, pu pushing applications to data, and that's really been our business and our focus. Uh, you know, the word Zadita is is challenging to pronounce. It actually does have some meaning. It's uh, our, our founder is Moroccan and in Moroccan, it loosely oh. translates to innovation. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a great company, been around about seven years and, you know, we're really focused on, you know, solving solutions for big enterprises when they're deploying compute outside the data center. Well, you're at the right time at the right place because the edge is just exploding, particularly now with uh, more and more data coming in through more and more systems. So how do you differentiate between, let's say, traditional edge computing solutions or, you know, IoT has been around for a while now. Yeah. Uh, what's the problem you're, you're solving today? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the problem we're solving today is one we recognized in the beginning, which was, you know, the, the conventional wisdom seven years ago is we'll just connect everything and push it to the cloud. Right. And then in the cloud, we'll do all the data analytics or AI or whatever we need to do. And, and what the founders sort of recognized is that, you know, our networks are built for download. They're asymmetrical in nature. And so we can stream video. So upload is 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 harder. It's more expensive. And the amount of devices coming online is just you know way overwhelming any network. So they set out really day one to bring a cloud like experience to your compute running anywhere in the world and where that is. Right. And what that means is you end up dealing with um, a number of new challenges outside the data center. And, and one, one of them is networking, right? You're not always on reliable networks. If you're in a vehicle rolling out to an oil well, you probably have no network for a period of time, but you still need to function and you still need to be able to be updated and these sorts of things. So we set out very early on to build systems that address the unique requirements of outside the data center compute. And our early adopters were very much, you know, big industries, so oil and gas and automotive and, you know, the, the, the industries that have invested billions outside data centers, right? Building oil wells and factories and dealerships and these sorts of things. So that's really been our focus. Our, our, our unique capabilities is we're, you know, we're sort of built for this environment. Um, mm. You know, and a lot of the other technologies that are really popular, you know, kind of evolved through the cloud where you have connectivity and you have a guy that can go, put a USB key if something ha bad happens or, uh, you know, power cycle machines, you know, you can't do that on the edge. So it is a different paradigm you have to build for. And, you know, we've been really, you know, toiling away at that, I guess, for the last seven years. Fantastic. Well, your efforts are certainly starting to pay off. You've also taken a really unique open source approach uh, within the context of the Linux Foundation. Maybe talk about that and and, and that approach as well. Sure. Yeah. So we, um, you know, part of our solution is uh, it's called Eve it stands for edge virtualization engine. It's what you install on the node. And um, we made that open source uh, and uh, in, uh, put it into the Linux foundation edge project. So LF edge is a group of, uh, as it sounds, edge related projects or infrastructure for data. There's blueprints. Uh, there's you know there's about I think 18 projects now inside there. There's some AI solutions, data movement. Um, so we were one of the founding members to, that sort of created LF Edge back in the day. And and the idea was, you know, as an operating system, you know, open source brings a lot of value. You know, we sell to big enterprises. They want to know what's in your operating system, and, and they maybe mm -hmm. want to modify it. They maybe want to run a Red Hat version of it, or run a SuSE version of it, or you know, so open sourcing, it gives a lot of visibility into our customers. It also helps build a community. 
Um, you know, so other developers can come in, start to start to build on Eve, use it in their own way if they want to go build edge projects or something to that extent. So uh, open source is a big part of sort of our DNA and our and our company and has been, you know, for four or five years now. Um, and you know, it's 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 really helped our company, I think, as as we've evolved from our first customers to you know the series of customers we now have in the enterprise space. You know, having that transparency and having you know, flexibility that comes with it, you know, our, our, our customers can contribute if they need custom things uh, has really unlocked, you know, some of some of our deals and some of our customers. Fantastic. And congratulations on the recent Series C funding. Uh, no small task. How does that accelerate some of the goals that you just uh, outlined there? Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was surprising and incredible. You know, I think, um, you know, raising money these days is, is no trivial feat. So the, the team did a fantastic job and, and we're super excited with with the new investors. You know, it was led by uh, Smith Point Capital and, and the team there is really great. They've been super helpful, very hands on, you know, opening doors for us, um, challenging us, you know. So so it's 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 changed the company a bit in that. Um, we can now invest where we wanted to invest and maybe couldn't as much in the past, right? So, you know, we're looking hard at Edge AI and how we can partner and accelerate solutions there. Um, we're, we're thinking about, um, you know, different ge geographies that maybe we couldn't have covered in the past, you know, so do we open offices and remote locations and those sorts of things. So it has unlocked, we're not going crazy. We're not, you know, <laughs> spending 90% of it on ads in, in Facebook or anything like that. We're still a pretty conservative growth company, uh, which is why I think we were able to raise such a successful round as, you know, our, our valuations and our growth. And, and you know, we, we, we've really built on uh, foundations versus sort of hype. Um, so, you know, we'll continue that strategy. We're going to go faster. We're going to do more, but, you know, we're also going to sort of build a meaningful business along the way. Oh, wonderful mission. Um, so it, it seems you focus a lot on increasing visibility, security, control of this distributed edge. I mean, this is the main strategy to allow your customers to handle this kind of surge in demand. Yeah. I mean, I, I think like the, maybe the way to describe it is, you know, what, what we typically see is, you know, an enterprise will have a project, right? And the project could be, you know, um, I want to optimize how I do something near the edge, or I want to collect more data and do predictive maintenance on a machine, right? I want to know when this machine's going to break down. So they'll go and they'll work with a vendor, or they'll build something in open source, or they'll build something proprietary, and they'll put together a system that consists of generally like an old virtual machine that connects to the machine, Windows NT or Windows 2000, connects to a bunch of containers that do something you know, around that piece of data. They'll build it and they'll get to that point and they're like, okay, now how do I deploy this in 10,000 places, right? And that's really mm -hmm. where we come, right? So we're not building the applications that connect to the machine. That's all our partnerships or all our, of what our customers are doing. We're that layer that says, okay, let's take that combination. And, you know, it also generally includes a firewall and some network connectivity and these sorts of things as well. How do you bundle all that up, ship it to 10,000 locations, update it when it needs to be updated, and at the same time, make sure you know it's your device and you know the software is complete, right? And that's really what we bring to that equation is that scale and that distribution piece. Well said. Um, you've built some really interesting partnerships around the go-to-market. It's quite an ecosystem there. It's a very complex landscape. Care to call out those partners at all or, or how that's going to help support, you know, developers and customers? Yeah, I, I mean, like, it, it's hard to choose one because, you know, my role is to, <laughs> to love all of them. They're all my favorite. Um, you know, but I think that, it, you know, as I just described, it's key to our, our platform, right? Like people want to run an outcome. They want to they have, they want to do value at the edge. And we help them deliver that value to the edge, but we don't build those apps. So the partnerships are super important. You know, I, I think the, you know, we do have some OEMs that, that maybe I'll call out because they're very tight partnerships. Um, you know, Emerson is uh, an industrial company. Uh, also, Rockwell Automation, they both uh, use our platform and they, they uh, oh, wow. bring in their applications and sort of specialize around their market and are, and are using our solution to deliver to, to their end customers. You know, so maybe we'll call out those. And then, you know, I also, uh, we have a marketplace concept, which is how you deploy applications to these nodes. So like your phone, you sort of can browse applications. Mm. And, 
you know, my role is sort of building out that as well. So we have some great partnerships in there and, and um, you know, they're all on our website. So, uh, you know, go take a look and, and, you know, our goal is, is really to make it easy for our customers to, to find best of breed, but bring what they need to bring on their own and, you know, manage that at scale. So thousands or tens of thousands of places. Yeah. And as you're open source, I, I imagine you'll be deployed everywhere, anywhere. Um, where are you finding most traction? Any particular scenarios or verticals or sort of industry? Yeah, I mean, Obviously, automation is a, is a good one in the industrial manufacturing side of things. But uh, yeah. what, what, what say you? I mean, you know, these projects take time, right? I mean, uh, it, mm. it's hard to buy 10,000 computers and send them to 10,000 locations, right? <laughs> so, you know, I, I think like where, where we see a lot of traction was where we started, which was sort of in the oil and gas space, right? So our first customer was an oil and gas services company, gigantic company that they, they, you know, a lot of their IP is is going to these wells and, it, you know, helping the, the wow. operators optimize them, right? And so you're running on trucks, you're running outside the data center, amazing security requirements and networking requirements, and their IP is on those trucks. So it's critical to their business. And that was our first customer. So, you know, we, we've we expanded inside that customer to more and more use cases. We're in like five or six different departments now. Um, but we've also signed other oil and gas, uh, both producers and service providers. So that's that's kind of where we started. And, and you know, I have a really strong story in, in that vertical. Um, but we're also used in transportation, you know, so we work with automotive companies and shipping vessel companies. Uh, we're embedded in machines. So we end up on, you know, factory floors. Uh, retail is starting to pick up. We're seeing more and more demand in the retail space. And um, so it, it's kind of, you know, our history is that oil and gas and we're super strong there. But more and more, we're seeing a, 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 broad, a broader set of use cases and customers. Fantastic. Um, what's next? Uh, you're involved in so much within, uh, you know, the industries you serve. What's What are you looking forward to the next weeks and months out there in terms of meetings? Uh, I know there's a ton happening in the Linux Foundation yeah. arena, but what are you personally excited about? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I guess maybe starting with the Linux Foundation space, we just came out of the the One Summit, which is sort of our uh, the annual mm -hmm. event that includes LF Edge, which is the group with the, that we participate in, and LF Networking. So, you know, it was, uh, here in San Jose, it was a great, great conference. Um, it was nice to finally meet a lot of the people I've been on Zoom with for the last few years, um, <laughs> you know, and, and a part of my role, I'm, I'm on the board of the LF Edge. So, you know, we really are trying to drive a lot of awareness around this. You know, I think that, you know, we met as a board and we kind of talked through, like, how do we do things faster and broader? And, you know, part of that is is plugging into some of the vertical groups, um, either open source or industry groups. So we're going to start kind of packaging up LF Edge into, uh, you know, more of a consumable set of, like, here's really what we can do and start bringing it to other communities because, you know, they're looking for solutions. Um, and then we're also, um, you know, we we want to make it easy for people to consume the stuff we build, right? Because, yeah. you know, open source is fantastic, but if you download something and you spend eight hours making it work, it takes eight hours, so it's valuable to you, right? So, you know, if we've, we've introduced this uh, project called the LF Edge Sandbox, which is a, um, a SaaS-based deployment solution. It's basically Zadita, but... Uh, on loan to the LF Edge for developers to use where they can just kind of one-click deploy all these projects. So wow. we're, we're trying to drive a faster experience for developers and users so they can just sort of stand up like a data solution and try it that day instead of really having to grind through documentation and figure out how, how, to, how to make it work. So, you know, there's a lot of effort around, you know, easy to consume, not only from other projects, but even for developers and, and consumers of the, the open source projects. Yeah, it's fascinating. I see you're a, a active member of the Kubernetes community and leveraging infrastructure for, for edge Kubernetes. Uh, you're, you're really in the heart of cloud native uh, development, you know, much this modern approach to cloud development. What's next? Anything you care to share? I imagine you're ramping up uh, the team as well. Uh, where, yeah. where are you guys physically based? Or are you, you know, virtually and, and everywhere? Yeah, so uh, a little bit of both, right? Like we have, so we have three main offices today. 
Um, mm -hmm. You know, our headquarters is San Jose, California. Um, we have a, a development in, well, a big, it's basically a, a, an office in Berlin as well, Berlin, Germany. Mm -hmm. And then we have a couple offices in India. Um, and then we have people uh, distributed as well, both developers and, you know, sales and support and other teams. So we are pretty distributed. We're, we're, we're in a lot of uh, countries, you know. Our, our software is deployed all over. You know, we have one particular mm -hmm. customer that's deployed in 72 different co companies or countries, I should say. Wow. So, um, you know, the, 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 the workload is distributed and so is the team, you know. And, and you mentioned Kubernetes. So just circling back to that, we see a lot of Kubernetes. Um, we have uh, uh, Kubernetes as a service, so similar to your cloud offerings, you can kind of quickly mm. deploy Kubernetes, and that's an interesting uh, challenge at the edge, you know, because you're running on one node and you're running a cluster, and how do you manage ten thousand of those? Mm. So, you know, we we're, we do a fair amount in that space, and we're really trying to invest in that space to make, you know, to kind of change a little bit around the paradigm. I mean, the, the classic Kubernetes is you have, you know, five or ten really big clusters, you know. We have five thousand really small ones, so it's a different it's a different challenge to go solve. And you know, we work really closely with our customers and community around that. Fantastic! Well, congrats on all the success onwards and upwards. Any travel for yourself coming up? Anything uh, interesting, personally, professionally, to uh, call out? Yeah, well, I'm going to Red Hat Summit next week in Denver, so oh, curious to right. uh, connect with some folks there and learn more about what they're doing and. You know, working on partnerships there and then um you know it's it's it takes two years to get one so i'll mention that i'm going to abandon dunes <laughs> to golf in the summer <laughs> pretty excited uh, about that fantastic. so uh you know a little little personal life there wonderful well enjoy that and enjoy denver spring has arrived finally and thanks so much for sharing insights on the edge of technology no pun intended really fascinating work thanks yeah, i appreciate the time and good discussion great question Thanks everyone for watching and, you know, reach out, follow, uh, follow the team. They're doing some amazing work. Take care. Bye-bye.